Hello everybody, welcome to the start of a video series where we're going to solve perfect Bayesian equilibrium in several examples. I'm going to provide an introduction of what you are going to expect from this video series and four examples that we're going to have from it. So without further ado, let's go and get started. In the following set of videos, we are going to solve for perfect Bayesian equilibrium in non-signaling games. The purpose of this series is to illustrate how to use perfect Bayesian equilibrium as a refinement of Nash equilibrium and subgame perfect Nash equilibrium. What this means is that we'll be using perfect Bayesian equilibrium as a concept which reduces the number of possible ways that we could solve a game as given by Nash and subgame perfect Nash equilibrium. It's important to note that there are better videos in covering the theory behind perfect Bayesian equilibrium i.e. in thinking of the classic requirements of one to four and solving them in light of those definitions uh, directly. I will get into some practical ways of solving these games in practice. The steps I'm going to follow uh, for all four of these examples are going to be as follows. We're going to write our game in an induced strategic form. We're going to look for all possible subgame perfect Nash equilibria. We're going to solve for the beliefs that support a possible perfect Bayesian equilibrium, updating the beliefs whenever possible, and then we're going to define a perfect Bayesian equilibrium for the game. The perfect Bayesian equilibrium we will solve for in this series are going to be pure strategies supported by a belief, which is going to be defined as the probability distribution over a information set. So this is all for uh, this introduction, and in the next video we will get into our first example. I will see you there.